you may even trim away some of the outer edges to make it smaller. Step 3. Make a slot in the pattern mix into which the leaf section can be placed. Be sure that your rooting mix is very light and porous. The mix should be moist but not soggy. Step 4. Firmly place leaf section into the soil. Place about 1 or 4 inch deep and firm in the soil around the leaf edge. I will put another leaf section into this pot. If you want, you can label your pot with the name of variety that been propagated. Place this in a bright location. Also, I find it helps to give it a little heat from below. I open my container once a day to allow for some air circulation. After about a month, the roots should have developed. Step 5. Development of plants from leaf cuttings. Here you can see plant leaf development at about 8 weeks after rooting. Note that numerous plantlets develop along the bottom edge of the leaf section. More densely veined leaves usually will produce more babies along the edge. These leaves could actually be separated and planted now in individual pots. Step 6. Separate plantlet from mother leaf. When plants are large enough that you are comfortable handling them, they can be removed from the original leaf section. Gently pull on each individual leaf appearing from the base of rooted leaf section. They should be separated in a light pattern mix. Don't worry if the baby has only a few thin roots, it will soon produce more. Remember that individual leaf shown is really an individual plant. Step 7. Potting individual plantlet. Make a small hole in your regular soil mix. Push the plantlet down into this hole so that about one third of the body leaf is beneath the soil surface. 
firm the soil, lightly water the soil. If the plantlet has few roots or otherwise seems quite fragile, you might want to pull it into a plastic bag or covered container for the first few weeks. It should be well established within a month, at which point growth will become quite rapid. While the baby is adjusting to its new pot, it is important to go easy on watering. Keep the soil just moist, but not too wet. Once the young plants are well established, they can be potted into a larger pot. Within two to three months, most healthy plants should reach flowering stage. Step 8. This is the finished product. You have got more of your favorite straps, if only you had the room to grow them all.